What's up guys, Sam here with Real Deal Angling. Today's video, I'm gonna be giving you a quick tutorial, give you some ideas on how to transform a three bench aluminum boat, rowboat, whatever you got, into a bass boat with a casting deck, an open floor, give you some more space to move around. Possibilities are endless. Let's get into it. So three years ago, I bought this boat. It's a 1978 Alumacraft. It's just your classic three bench aluminum boat. Although it's not pretty, it gets the job done, but I did have a vision for it when I bought it. All right, so as you guys can see, the boat has came a long way from what it was two years ago. I'll give you a quick tour. So I just got the foot pedal trolling motor installed back in May. That was quite the pain in the ass. I had to build this box, make sure it was sturdy. I did some metal framing in there. Got the wire in straight down. Battery in here. Wire's coming straight through. Got some extra storage back in there. Pants, hoodies, windbreakers, whatever you may want. And now uh, for the storage boxes, as you can see, the bench was there. Turn that side into cup holders. This is the original bench. I just boxed it out, put a little platform on the bottom, extra storage. Same thing here, I used the rest of the bench, shoved it in there, boxed it out. Works pretty good. I got a lot of stuff in here. Got locator, lights, tools, allergy medicine, Kleenex, sunglasses, fire extinguisher, anything you want. Fits right in there. I got a seat mount down here seat mount on the deck for in case you want to jig you might want to sit lower if you want to cast you might want to sit higher uh, the back's kind of dirty but i got brand new gas tank in there brand new gas line mercury 20 horse upgrade i used to have an evan rude 20 and it was a piece of shit so yeah this is the boat and this is not what it looked like two years ago by any means so the first order of business was to get all this ugly blue carpet ripped out, get a bunch of rusty screws pulled out of there, get the seats taken off, get all the excess glue cleaned off the seats to have a nice smooth surface. I used a grinder with a polishing wheel to do that. So once I had a nice clean surface to work with, I started framing everything out. Um, I ended up building my frame right on top of the old platform so I had something to screw into without having to try to screw into the hall or not worrying about any of that. So one thing you're going to want to take into account is that when you remove a bench like I did, that bench is going to be filled with foam for uh, buoyancy purposes. So you're going to want to replace that. And I ended up using inch and a half foam board, cut them right to size, slapped them right in where they could go, and it worked out good. So once you got everything framed out and everything's feeling nice and sturdy, you can get started on your platforms. Um, it can be a little tricky with the outlines of the boats and all the different angles and whatnot. So the best way to do it is just to get some huge pieces of cardboard cut out some templates, just shave them down little by little till they fit real nice and perfect, and then slap them on a piece of marine grade plywood. And that's pretty much how I did it. All right, now that my platform is installed, I can start working on my storage box. What I did was I cut a piece of marine grade plywood nice and tight, threw it in there for a bottom as you can see, cut an access panel on the top, slapped a box in there, and just put a bunch of marine grade plywood all around it. Pretty simple, pretty effective, it's all you really need. The last step of the rough work was just to cut open my door for my front storage box and install my swivel seat mounts. Now for finishing work, I chose to carpet my pieces. You can paint them, you can just leave them bare wood, you can do a lot of different things, but I chose carpet. Now one thing you're going to want to take into consideration if you do choose carpet is you're going to want to trim all your pieces of wood down to about a quarter or half an inch smaller than what they already are to account for that extra space the carpet's going to take up. 
So now it's about mid-May. I've been working on the boat all spring, and I can finally say the transformation is done. We enjoyed some beautiful nights on the lake, caught some great fish, had some great laughs, and I couldn't be happier with how everything turned out. But I still had a few things in mind. Fast forward to next spring, and I realized that I really should get a foot pedal trolling motor for the casting deck. First things first, I gotta build something to mount the trolling motor to. So I built out metal frame, made sure it was nice and sturdy, and then I used the cardboard template method to get some nice pieces of wood snug in there. Then I realized that I'm gonna need somewhere for wires to go, so I drilled out a hole through the deck and through the mounting platform and ran the wires straight through into my storage box. Once I got my top piece all carpeted and I got the trolling motor mounted down, I was able to start working on my vertical piece. I ended up building a little hatch door so I could still access my wires and anything in the future for any reason I might need to be in there if I ever get a locator up there or whatnot. So my last idea was to repurpose that middle bench that I cut out. Originally, I wanted to build a rod locker. Didn't work out because it was too short, but I figured I could still use it as a storage box. So I cut it down to size, shoved it in between the storage seat and my seat. Pretty much the same process as everything else. I made some templates, cut some wood, cut an access door, and then carpeted everything, put some hinges on it. And it worked out really nicely. I got it nice and organized with some boxes in there. I got two different pockets. It's worked perfect. All in all, it was a lot of work, but it was fun and it was definitely worth it. It's so much nicer being able to move freely through my boat. Having the casting deck is amazing. It just worked out perfectly for me and pretty much custom built exactly how I want it. And it could be the same for you. If you have a aluminum boat with benches in it, I would definitely suggest that you do it. It's not that expensive. It's cheaper than buying a $10,000 boat. If you don't have a boat, you can do this at home. All you need is some tools. Like I said, it's not, it's not hard. It might be intimidating, but you just got to get into it. So thank you for watching. I hope that gives you guys some help, gives you guys some ideas of what you can do. And like, comment, subscribe.